Mary says, I know it sounds cliche, but I found my husband when I wasn't looking at all. That's my advice is don't try to force love. We are in a weird transition in our relationship after 21 years of marriage, but if you love one another, it's worth the effort. I'm finding that I'm putting in 110% and he is putting in 25%, so that's the struggle now. He thinks it should be on autopilot, but anyway, I'm going to keep fighting. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely one of those things. I think there's a different energy about us when you're looking for somebody versus when you're not looking for somebody. And, and I've heard a lot of times from a lot of people that they tend to find somebody when they aren't really looking for someone. And I think it's because their energy changes. A lot of times when we're like actively looking for somebody, what ends up happening is we start acting and behaving in ways that aren't necessarily attractive because we're taking it so seriously about getting into this relationship. And so the energy that we kind of put out there and that we uh, put out when we're talking to a guy or we're meeting a guy or we see a guy or whatever could end up being really kind of a repelling energy. Whereas when you're not looking, it's like you're more calm, you're more relaxed, you're more confident, you're more comfortable because you're not trying to make something happen and you're not like, okay, I got to get this right and I got to figure this out and all that kind of stuff, which when you're in your head and you're doing that, a lot of times it can end up pushing somebody away because what usually brings somebody in and attracts somebody to you is being playful and being in this state of feeling playful and connecting and having fun as opposed to making things serious and trying to get something to work and trying to make something happen. 